you are live alessia let's wait for some follower to connect that's perfect it's a beautiful day yeah sunny sunny warm a little it's bit windy but very very beautiful let's hope typical spring weather would say yeah okay the first connection turner pierre is online okay ciao ragazze hi Lucas, Lucas is online. Luki, how are you? Ciao Luki. <laughs> ciao Luki. Ciao ciao. Turn up here, say hello. Hi girls, how are you? Oh Marianne, ciao Marianne. Marianne, how are you? <laughs> so I guess we we'll spend most of uh, our live broadcast uh, today saying hello to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Julia is online. Giulione, ciao! <laughs> ciao Giulio! <laughs> Florian online! Hey Florian, ciao, ciao Florian! How are you? Welcome! Mario, saluti da Buffalo! Oh no, I cannot believe that! Il sindaco di Buffalo, ciao Mario! Enrico Contini! Enrico, non poteva mancare! Abbiamo ciao, la Enrico. creme della creme! <laughs> Okay. Well, let's say let's wait some more minutes and then yeah, uh, some more minutes. Uh, there are already 17 people con connected. Arianna is online. Perfect. Ciao Ari. Florian say ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Giuliana. Ciao Julie. Julie. Ciao Julie. <laughs> Turner Pierre says beautiful Ale. Grazie. That's usual, uh, especially when the weather is a little bit, a bit windy as uh, today. Ciao Super Gaglio Le Team, says Arianna. Super Turner Pierre Team as well. I think as soon as you want we can, uh, we can, can start. start. Okay, let's start. So welcome everybody. Thanks uh, for being here today. So first of all, uh, I would like uh, to say a special thank you, special grazie mille to the girls of uh, Turner Pierre uh, who gave us uh, this wonderful idea uh, of uh, this uh, live uh, broadcast uh, on Instagram. We found uh, the idea really beautiful and so we decided uh, to join uh, this project together with other producers. So this is a project that uh, will give uh, to many different producers uh, the possibility to speak about uh, their wineries, uh, their histories, uh, their wines. So then I would like uh, to say hello to the many Bears family members who are following uh, us uh, on Instagram today. And uh, I would love uh, to say a special uh, hello to Thomas and Monica Bear, the owners of the property. Both of them are uh, at their home in Zurich and they are following us from there. Even though they would have been more than happy to be here with me and Cosimo today to tell you some beautiful uh, histories about uh, our property. But unfortunately, because of uh, the current situation uh, that most of the world is experiencing, they couldn't travel to Tuscany right now. So Cosimo and I today are here at Gallole, our mother property. This property is located uh, at uh, the edge of the Chianti Classico area. More exactly, we are uh, in Castellina and Chianti, one of uh, the nine communes of uh, the Chianti Classico and uh, we are at the mother property so Gallioli is a very old property the property itself dates back to the year 994 after Christ some years ago we decided uh, to do an historical uh, research just to find out uh, how old was the property and uh, who were uh, the people managing the property before us and uh, we found a beautiful document in the Star Archive of Siena, a document uh, that tells about a beautiful legend, the legend of Ildebrando, 
the son of uh, the Longobard King Berengario, who in 1994, after Christ, uh, gave this estate to his wife as a wedding present. So um, our responsibility as uh, uh, current owners of uh, this property is uh, to preserve the beauty of the estate as it was in the very ancient past. And so as you can see from uh, the beautiful pictures, uh, the beautiful natural pictures that we have behind us, uh, we are still preserving uh, all those beautiful dry stone walls uh, and uh, that was uh, a very old uh, technique uh, for cultivating uh, the land. A, a, a technique that dates uh, back uh, to the prehistoric time. Uh, I'm sorry for the wind. <laughs> so a technique uh, that is uh, speaking about uh, the very strong uh, relationship uh, humans uh, had uh, with the plants uh, in the ancient past. So that was a very clever technique because uh, by building the terraces, uh, growers uh, weren't obliged uh, to move uh, too much herd. And because of that, uh, the, la the real aspect of the landscape was really preserved. At the same time, by building the terraces, uh, growers uh, were not only using uh, vines uh, as uh, cultivation, but also other trees, as for example, holly trees and fruit trees and that allowed them to create a perfect network between the different plants in the soils and that's what makes the plants even more stronger and that was let's say the natural defense of plants against harmful pathogens. So now that I tell you something about the very old uh, history of uh, Gallole, I must say you uh, what brought uh, Thomas and Monica to Tuscany. So that was uh, 1979 uh, and Thomas Bear was in Castellina and Chianti to visit Monica. Monica was uh, in Castellina to spend uh, her summer holiday with uh, her family. A year later, they got married and uh, they continue uh, their tradition of spending uh, their holidays in Tuscany at uh, the villa that Monica's family uh, used to rent uh, for summer. This villa was located just a few miles away from Gallole and so Thomas and Monica used to walk uh, quite often to Gallole and uh, Gallele was uh, one of the favorite spots in Castellina and Chianti for the two of them. So finally, or eventually, in 1919, they were able to purchase the property. At the beginning, uh, they just wanted uh, to have a second home in Tuscany where they could spend uh, their summer holidays. But then uh, in 1993, they took a very important decision to all of us and they start to produce wine. So the very first 300 bottles of wine that they produced were all bottles of our Gallole IGT. So in 2011, Gallole Viticulture's wealth further enriched by a, a, a purchase of a very considerable piece of land or considerable vineyards in the Concadoro of Panzano in Chianti. So as of 2011, Gagliole counts on two wine blocks for a total of 22 hectares. We mostly grow Sangiovese grapes. Uh, then we also have a tiny percentage of Cabernet and Merlot for the red wine. And then we also grow some white, white grapes so for our white wine. And for them we have uh, Trebbiano, Chardonnay and Malvasia Bianca. Speaking about the wines, uh, so uh, let's start with the white wines. 
So we have a very young uh, white wine that we call Biancolo. This is a wine that is produced out of uh, Trebbiano and Chardonnay, 50, a 50-50 blend. A very nice and a refreshing white wine. The typical white wine that you can enjoy in the summer season, uh, sitting on the terraces uh, and sipping a, a nice glass of wine. Then we produce Il Bianco, which is a much more serious white wine. A lovely blend of 60% uh, of uh, Procanico. Procanico is a very old clone for Trebbiano grapes. Then we have a 30% of Chardonnay and a 10% of Malvasia grapes. Only 3,000 bottles of this wine are produced every year. A very rare white wine, but really wonderful. Then we go to the red wines. We start with the Rubiolo, which is our 10th Classico, that uh, most of you know very well. A pure Sangiovese, for which we use uh, some grapes from Panzano, as well as some grapes from Castellina and Chianti. The most important thing is that uh, the Rubiolo is produced with grapes coming from the youngest vine at the, at the estate. So there are, uh, it, there are vines uh, that really shows the young uh, face of Sangiovese. So very feminine in some way and very, very elegant and uh, fruity. Then we go to the Valletta. The Valletta is uh, the wine that in Galilee we like to call our international red wine. That's because uh, Valletta has uh, a quite different blend from the other wines that we produce. In fact, the Valletta is made of 50% uh, of Sangiovese and 50% of Merlot grapes. A beautiful and intriguing uh, red wine, uh, a red wine uh, that really pairs fantastic with pasta dishes. And then we go to the very serious uh, red wines of Galilee. Let's start with our flagship. We have today here a bottle of our Galilee 2016. So that's uh, the flagship wine of the property. The wine is made of 98% uh, of Sangiovese and 2% of Cabernet Sauvignon. An incredible red wine, a red wine that will give you the real uh, um, sense of uh, a pure, almost a pure Sangiovese coming from uh, Panzano and Chianti. Beautiful, uh, uh, with beautiful uh, raspberry and strawberry notes, uh, beautiful silky tannins, uh, an incredible red wine. Then we go to our Gallule. We also have a bottle of the Gallule here. We decided to have the Gallule together with our Gallule today because uh, this is uh, right now the only wine that we produce uh, with grapes uh, that totally come from uh, the old vines here in Gallole, planted uh, on our beautiful dry stone walls. That's a pure Sangiovese. A Sangiovese that I, cho I told you uh, it has been produced uh, out of very old uh, Sangiovese vines. And so this bottle will, will, uh, will bring uh, to you a beautiful uh, memory from Tuscany. So it's a bottle that is completely bonded uh, to the terroir from which uh, the grape we use for this wine come from. So, and to finish the line, we have our Pecchia, which is uh, in somehow the old brother of our Gallule. The Pecchia is a beautiful, pure Sangiovese wine that we only produce in the most incredible vintages. Very tiny production, less than 2,500 bottles. And the Pecchia is a pure Sangiovese, this time from Panzano and Chianti. So the two last wines that I presented to you have the responsibility to let you better understand what Gallole nowadays has become. So Gallole is a beautiful property, a unique property with two different wine blocks. One in Castellina, the other one in Panzano and Chianti. So um, Panzano and Castellina are pretty different. They are 12 kilometers apart from each other, so not that far away, but they have completely different microclimates and terroir. 
So the microclimate in Castellina is, is in somehow a little more stable and uh, a little more uh, classic. Whereas uh, in uh, Fanzano we have a very particular microclimate which is affected by the biggest uh, mountains uh, that is surrounding the border of Tuscany with Emilia Romagna. So speaking about the terroirs, in Castellina we have uh, beautiful uh, brownish yellow soil made of uh, clay pebbles. So this is uh, the typical soil of uh, this area of Chianti Classico and uh, this is the kind of soil that you usually find at the elevation where our, our mother property is located. So around uh, 400, five, 450 meters above sea level. In Panzano we reach an elevation of 500-510 meters. Most vines are planted in Alberese and Galestro soils that are rocky and nutrient poor with high mineral content. Both terroirs has got excellent groundwater reserves and allow the vines to extend further down to absorb components required for the healthy vines. So um, as you have uh, for sure understood for what uh, I said, uh, Sangiovese is uh, for Gagliole, for uh, our team uh, and uh, for our enologists, uh, the most important and most representative uh, uh, grape from, uh, for, for the property itself. So we invest uh, our daily energy to really improve uh, every single day the results that uh, we can reach thanks to this uh, great uh, wine grape uh, that is uh, really the grapes uh, that better than the other grapes uh, can tell you something more about Tuscany, about our corner of Tuscany, so the Chianti Classico area. In Gagliari we grow all our vines uh, following uh, the principle of the organic farming and uh, in fact as of uh, the harvest 2019 uh, we will be able to label all our wine as of organic except uh, for Bianco and Rubiolo. We will be able to label the Rubiolo as organic wine in three years from now. That's because uh, we have just, uh, just finished to plant a new wine block uh, pretty close uh, to our vineyard in Panzano and Chianti from which uh, grapes dedicated uh, to the Rubiolo will come and uh, in which we have just started uh, to convert to organic. So uh, I told you about the history of the property, I told you about our owners, uh, I told you about our wines, uh, so we have a very important news to tell you. Most of you know already that uh, in 2017 uh, we took the decision uh, to move all the production from uh, the mother property, so from the property where we are recording today, to the property in Panzano and Chianti. That's because uh, uh, Gagliole is protected by the landmark. So Gagliole, uh, because of, the, of uh, its very old origin here, we would uh, never be allowed to change anything. I told you that at the beginning. We have to preserve the beauty of the estate as it was in the very ancient past. And we still uh, have to do that. Because of that, in 2017, uh, we took the decision uh, to start to build a new cellar in Panzano in Chianti. So the new cellar is now ready. The vintage uh, 2019, the harvest of 2019, was completely carried out at the new facility in Panzano. Yes, we please. have Torben Juncker saying hello. Hi Torben. We have Mike Petrizzo connected and Ciao, saying hello Mike. and Alberto Prialoni. Hi Alberto, <laughs> how are you? Hi to, to all of you. It's, it is very nice uh, to have you here today. So, and uh, I was speaking about our new cellar in Panzano in Chianti as I was telling you that as of the harvest 2019, the new cellar is completely uh, functional. 
So we have uh, the latest technology in tanks and vats. We have tanks of uh, steel, tanks of wood, tanks of concrete. And uh, the new cellar is completely eco-sustainable. In fact, we get all the energy for this facility from geothermal and solar technology. So the construction of uh, the cellar will become really necessary in order to meet the challenge of processing an amount of grapes that had doubled with the purchase of uh, the new vineyards in the Concadoro. We have planned uh, to inaugurate uh, our new cellar in September 2020, but because of the current situation, uh, we had uh, to cancel uh, the event. Uh, but we very much hope uh, that we will be able uh, to welcome you all at Gallole and at uh, the new facility in Panzano in Chianti as soon as possible, as uh, we would be extremely uh, happy to show you what uh, we have done in the last uh, few years and what we have achieved with uh, our uh, energy. So, um, what can I say? Um, I told you most of the things that I wanted uh, to tell you about Gallole. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, thanks to this uh, live uh, broadcast, uh, I let you dream about our beautiful region. So some, uh, someone uh, asked me a couple of days ago what trip I would like to take as soon as uh, we could move uh, more freely. So I must say that uh, right now, <laughs> I have uh, just uh, a very big uh, wish. So the first place uh, where I will travel as soon as uh, all of these will be over is my parents' home. So uh, right now I cannot drive to Castellina because uh, eight years ago I took the decision to move uh, to Poggibonzi where I live with my husband and with my son. And so I cannot go to Castellina and see my 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 other part of the family so this is uh, something uh, that i really miss right now and so my my big uh, dream is uh, to drive to castellina as soon as possible and to enjoy the marvelous view that uh, only the place uh, where i grew up uh, uh, offers so this is the place where i spend all my childhood so i can uh, I can uh, uh, only tell you that uh, this is really the biggest dream of my life right now. Marianne wrote uh, uh, to see your parents. She knew it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Petrizzo says, uh, we miss you. Uh, we miss you yeah. too, Mike. We miss you really badly, I would say. <laughs> but uh, we are sure that we'll see each other uh, pretty soon. And uh, we wait you here in Tuscany. Uh, we wait uh, you to celebrate uh, the opening of our new cellar all together and thanks again uh, for uh, the attention thanks again uh, for being uh, live with us uh, today it has been nice uh, to see you all uh, even uh, only virtually so Cosimo and hi uh, wish you a wonderful afternoon uh, wish you a wonderful evening and we thank you very much uh, for being here today. It has been like uh, having you in front of us uh, for a moment. Grazie, grazie a tutti. Ciao a tutti, grazie. grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.